Hey guys, I am back for another um, review, another video, and this is um, the Miss Spa Oxygenating Bubble Mask. And this actually comes in as a booklet style. Um, so this is what it was inside. And this was what was inside of it. And um, so yeah. So anyways, this is supposed to help with... Um, with the dull tired looking skin it's supposed to revitalize it and here at the back it does mention that you do have to cleanse your face meaning wash it dry it thoroughly open the pouch and apply mask to the face with a thin even layer avoid eyes and lip areas relax for 20 minutes while the mask gently bubbles and does it magic then rinse the face with water and pat dry now um it kind of is pretty it's kind of thick when um you open it and apply it to your face um you do start feeling the bubbly sensation coming to your skin within a minute or two so it doesn't take that long um now when you do wash it um that gel type mask is still there so it does take some time to come off because the concentration is like I said it's kind of towards the thicker side the bubbles however does wash off right away uh, when I did wash it before I washed before machine washing it uh, when I did apply it I didn't really get any negative reaction uh, reactions to from it um, like in my previous two three facial masks I have mentioned I did say that um, my skin for the most part was not doing pretty well with the face mask because either my face just had this weird feeling on my skin or just in general uh, it would just get really red even if there was no weird sensational feeling on there um it just there was just some kind of feeling that i would always just get on my upper cheek area like my cheekbones i would say i don't know but um this one however did not give me any kind of reaction which is a good thing for me because that's the kind of skin products i'm looking for where i don't get reactions to it in such a way where i just feel like i need to go wash my face right away because it's not worth it um just to let you guys know my skin i do have rosacea so that means my skin does tend to get red anyways but if there's any kind of reaction, that means my skin will get even more red. And I kind of feel like my skin is kind of heating up anyways. Um, it is on the extreme sensitive side. It has gotten sensitive, a lot more sensitive over the last year and some change. Um, and otherwise, it's pretty clear. Like, I don't have any acne or nothing like that. Um, so that's that's how my skin is. Um so now moving forward i washed my face um my skin does feel a lot better it does seem like it glowed up a little um i wouldn't say my skin is extremely dull to begin with or tired tired looking i would say the under eye area probably a little tired looking but other than that for the most part i don't i wouldn't say it's extremely dull i have started exfoliating it, exfoliating it again um but this however has helped my skin a lot more um especially since you know um i've been traveling now i've been um you know my work commute is a lot longer now that i'm out in the uh, a lot of dirt dust and everything so i feel like it does help a lot and especially since I'm trying to get better regular with the nighttime skincare routine. I actually include this as part of my nighttime skincare routine. So since I'm being uh, since I'm being trying to get on top of my nighttime skincare routine, I feel like this definitely helped out my skin out a lot because I have not seen my skin like this in a while. It does like how in some of my facial ma face masks I do mention like I don't see much of a notice besides maybe the hydration. This one I, f I felt I seen the difference. Not only it did not dry out my skin, which is a plus, because normally it would dry out my skin, especially after I have to, if I have to wash it off, off. 
but it did feel like it was rejuvenated it didn't really look dull it didn't look tired so that's definitely a plus for me and then with my regular skincare routine i did not get a reaction either again um i think one of the previous three four uh face masks that i did um i initially didn't really get a reaction until i put the moisturizer and everything on so um this definitely was worth it because um I did apply my moisturizer, um, my eye cream, my oil and everything on my face and my skin had not reacted, it reacted in a negative way um, and, and I'm also trying to avoid the hyaluronic acid, avoid a, a hyaluronic acid. So I think my, this, I, I shouldn't say I think but I know for sure I can confirm that this definitely worked out for my skin. Um, in short, I would definitely recommend this particular Miss Spa product. Um, again, I do want to mention is that just because one particular product in a in in a in a company line or whatever, like for example, Miss Spa in the situation, um, not every single product has to suit your skin. Um, so this one in particular did pretty much suit my skin, which is good. And also another thing is that just because it worked for me does not necessarily mean it may work for you as well and vice versa. So that being said, once you do try it, I do want you to make sure that your skin is not reactive in, reacting in such a way where it may react negatively. So if that does, then please do wash it off right away. Um, it's just for your own benefit. And other than that, I would personally recommend this particular uh, mask. Other than that, if you guys want me to try out any products, please let me know down in the comments section below. Other than that, I'll be looking at my Instagram page. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.